What if we told you that a single player can transform a club that failed to finish in the top four into a title challenging side? And no, we're not talking about Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi. Picture this, from a lackluster 2022-2023 campaign to now standing tall as title contenders, something or someone has ignited a spark at Anfield. It's not who you might expect. This player hails from Hungary, a nation not traditionally known for producing Premier League game changers. Yet, here he is. Dominic Sabozlai making waves. To truly understand his impact, we need to rewind and dissect the gaps in Liverpool's previous campaign, a time when Anfield's magic seemed to wane. So bear with us as we explain the instant hit that is Dominic Sabozlai. Being a Liverpool fan during the 2022-2023 season felt like a roller coaster with more downs than ups. The club went into the campaign with the ambition to fight for the title, only to finish in fifth place, get knocked out of the FA Cup and EFL Cup, and get humiliated in the Champions League by Real Madrid. The club has performed consistently in the previous five years, adapting a relentless style of heavy metal football, pressing opponents into their own area, and implementing a high defensive line. To play in such a way, every single player must be at his peak physical ability. However, it turned out that this style is a double-edged sword. Why? Because it was clear it had taken its toll on players physically, and without decent squad planning, the whole team crashed. Players like James Milner, Jordan Henderson, and Fabinho showed clear signs of decline. Injuries plagued Naby Keita and Thiago, while young talents like Harvey Elliott, Fabio Carvalho and Curtis Jones struggled to fill in the midfield gaps. So, Liverpool found themselves not only with an ageing midfield, but also with no quality off of the bench. And that is mainly because Jurgen Klopp thought his players were immune to age. But wait, the problem goes way back before last season. Do you remember Genie Wijnaldum? Many labelled him as average, but in reality he was the linchpin of Klopp's system. Genie was pivotal in the way Jurgen Klopp wanted to play. His positioning off the ball was top-notch, allowing him to break down counter-attacks while his teammates pushed further up the pitch. But that's not just it. He was also crucial in how the Reds played out of the back, using his technical security to overcome opponents' pressure. Genie left for free in 2021 to join Paris Saint-Germain, and what did Liverpool and Klopp do to replace him? Well, nothing. This highlights the poor squad planning of Liverpool, which resulted in their midfield and the whole team in general, being overrun by basic every opponent they faced. The front line's press wasn't effective, the midfield lost structure, and the high defensive line got exposed so many times that people actually started questioning the likes of Van Dijk and Alexander-Arnold. Would you believe that? These are two of the best players we've recently witnessed in the Premier League. Sure, they also had some responsibility in the disappointing season Liverpool had, but they were all victims of the system and the poor squad planning. But believe it or not, the 2022-2023 campaign might have been a blessing in disguise for the Reds. Had Liverpool clinched the trophy or finished in the top four, would Klopp have actually revamped his midfield? Well, we don't really know. It was a wake-up call, an alert for the German to start moving into the transfer market so that Liverpool wouldn't fall behind Arsenal and Manchester City. And that's precisely what he's done. Six midfielders out, four in, that was enough to transform this Liverpool squad, resulting in a totally different start to the season than the previous campaign. Six wins, two draws, and a single controversial defeat against Spurs put Liverpool in serious contention for top four, and why not for a title challenge? But wait, this wouldn't have been possible if Liverpool didn't move for a specific player. This brings us to the main man, Steven Gerrard's long-awaited successor, the 22-year-old Dominic Sabozlai. Sabozlai was Liverpool's second signing of the summer window, after Alexis McAllister, and before Wataru Endo and Ryan Gravenberg. The Reds rushed to activate his 70 million euro release clause, and to say that he was a bargain is an understatement. If you're not convinced, just hang on a little bit, we're going to explain why he's so crucial to this Liverpool side. So let us start with his profile as a player. Sabozo ticks all the boxes in Jurgen Klopp's criteria for the perfect midfielder. He is a versatile, right-footed attacking player who prefers to play in the midfield, either as a number 8 or as a number 10. Still, he can also operate on the wings, which he did during most of his stay in Germany. Sabozo was deployed in both wings and has the license to drift into central spaces. If he's on the left, he likes to cut inside and look for a shooting opportunity using his stronger foot. But if he's playing on the right, he searches for penetrative runs while also looking to deliver early crosses. And not to forget, he's always provided necessary defensive support to Leipzig's attacking fullback. But that's not it. We all know that Klopp likes to play on the front foot, always looking to progress the ball high up the pitch. While well, Sabozo is perfect for that, he has an outstanding ability to progress the ball forward. He can drive it up the pitch and take opponents in 1v1. He can also produce sharp through balls, spotting his teammates, early movements, and breaking lines with accurate 
versatile passes. He can also operate in tight areas thanks to his ability to find intelligent lofted passes as he scoops the ball to pick out runners. He is also a great dribbler under pressure, using his strength and tall figure to shield and retain the ball. In addition to his versatility and ball progression ability, Sabozo is also a creative dynamo. For the stats enthusiasts out there, during his last season with RB Leipzig, Sabozlai provided 8 league assists while averaging 9.2 expected assists throughout the season. This highlights the player's efficiency in finding the last ball. He also accumulated an 83.5% pass completion rate. Now it's true that a high pass completion rate isn't impressive since the majority of these passes can be backwards or sideways, but we should keep in mind how Sabozlo likes to play. His forward thinking style makes his completion rate nothing short of remarkable. To top it all off, Liverpool's new number 8 also had a great eye for goal. Drawing parallels with Steven Gerrard, Sabozla has an excellent ball striking ability. Last season, he averaged 2.23 shots per 90 minutes as he scored 6 Bundesliga goals. Need proof? Check his RB Leipzig goal against Dortmund and his latest strike against Leicester. The boy can launch some rockets with his right foot. He is also fearless in taking attempts from the outside area every once in a while. At the same time, he is also dangerous inside the penalty box, perfectly timing his runs into the half spaces during his wide build-up phases and making in-behind runs for the midfield. But here's where Sabozlai truly stands out. His defensive contributions while he shines in possession is his off-the-work ball has been transformative for Liverpool. He isn't one to shy away from challenges. During the last campaign, he completed 265 ground duels, winning 133 while averaging 1.68 tackles per 90 minutes. This shows how intense of a midfielder he is. He uses this intensity to jump from midfield and help lead the pressing line. This is another essential trait that encouraged Klopp to break the bank for him. Now that we have completed the picture of what Sabozla is like, let us see how he has transformed Liverpool immediately. The 22-year-old has played the full 90 minutes of all nine Premier League matches so far, pivotal in Liverpool's unbeaten start to the campaign before the Spurs game. He scored his first goal in the Reds' 3-0 win over Aston Villa, and you guessed it right, it was a left-footed screamer that left Martinez frozen in place. He also scored another beauty in the EFL Cup game against Leicester. That's it. One league goal and no assists so far. You're not impressed, are you? You thought he was scoring goals left, right and centre after the way we've hyped him up, right? Well, here is Al. Jurgen Klopp is using Sabozlai as an RCM. The position is helping him showcase all different traits we discussed earlier. He's dominating that right half space, making constant runs while combining with Salah and Alexander-Arnold. He's also keeping things tidy in the midfield, having an 85.3 pass completion rate. But you know what's more impressive? He's He's a Liverpool player with the most passes in the squad, completing 503 passes in 9 league games. We'll give you more, he's been Liverpool's most progressive passer, so there's no need to point out how his pass completion is irrelevant. He's also brought his intensity with him. During his 9 Premier League games, Sabozlai went into 80 ground duels, averaging 10 per 90 minutes. Do you know how crazy that is? He was involved in 20 duels in the 2-1 win against Fulham, as many as Henderson and Liverpool's games with Fulham, United, Bournemouth, Newcastle and Brighton. Brighton last season combined. Do you want more? Of the 11 tackles he's won, 6 were in the opponent's final third, highlighting how suiting Sabozlai is to Klopp's tactics of pressing from the front and shocking other teams into their own areas. That is what you call an upgrade. Sabozlai isn't only improving this Liverpool side thanks to his abilities, but he is also providing the platform for other players to perform at their best. Occupying that right midfield lifted some pressure off Mo Salah, making him no longer the primary threat source from that area. It also gave more free him to Trent Alexander-Arnold to venture further into the midfield, as Sabozla has provided enough cover in transitional moments. Sabozla has been nothing but a revelation for Liverpool this season. If the Reds go on to challenge for the title, and why not win it, he will play an extremely crucial role. But what do you think about Liverpool's new number 8? Is he already considered a club star, or is it too early to judge or even think Liverpool got the back to their best? Share your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more football content. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.